True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> The boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. You know they really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> you're, you're, you're. <laughs> what it do? What the business is? What? is good it's your boy mail and we are back in the building again take your ass go to sleep back in the building bringing bringing that barbershop talk go to to the bar ah boy All right, bringing that barbershop to the box office, man. Two View Podcast. Let's get it. Let's go. Yo, I am the I am hyphen X, man. Thank you guys for joining us, rocking with us. Alley to my guy. But that motherfucker help. Hip hop my head. That was, that shit was a little long winded. I did. I was just sweet. My bad. Oh, you must have watched that new movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, once again, thanks again for tuning in. This is grown man MJ. Uh, in the place to be with the people to be with, the men who keep it real on the reels. Let's let's get it, fellas. Let's get it, fellas. Cheers, gentlemen. To a new episode. That's almost out too. I had, to, I had to re up a new bottle. Y'all send me send me a new bottle. Whew. All right. What are we getting into today? Well, handling the undead. What the hell is that? You might ask. Well, I ask it too, and we watched it. But let's dive into it. Handling the undead is a supernatural drama set in Stockholm where an unexpected phenomenon brings the dead back to life as the reanimated struggle to find their place in the world that has moved on, their families grapple with the emotional and ethical challenges of reintegration. What? Handling the undead. Wait a minute. Man. Is that what happened? I'm usually, I'm usually on assignment. That are you sure you're reading the right? I it, it has to what? be. It, this is a supernatural drama slash horror. Well, I don't know a why the supernatural fuck drama. Okay. Supernatural drama. Uh, I don't know if that's what I is that what you watch, Hyper? That's not what I seen. I what yeah, I'm usually on assignment, dog. Are you did you watch the right joint? I don't maybe I I don't you had to seen it, right? The, the... Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh. Confused as fuck. I like, am I'm, too. I'm I, bewildered. I am bewildered <laughs> at how they are nominated for the European Film Awards for Best Director and won the Swedish Garbage Award. Oh, the, oh I'm sorry. Gold Gold oh. Bodge. Gold Bodge, sorry. Award for Makeup. Oh. Best Makeup. <sighs> now... I, I I can see you said the first award was for cinematography, right? Or how uh, it was shot. First, uh first award nominated for European film awards for best director. So best director. Oh. Yeah. I can that see the cinematography. Yeah, that, that has to do with the cinematography and everything, right? Yeah. The way yeah, it was shot. yeah, yeah. Most I, definitely. I'll give it some I'll give it some credence. I mean, no, nah, oh. I, I, well, I, I put use a good word. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. The, the first scene when they was like on the adjacent building, he was walking out the other building and he ain't really go nowhere, but just made a, you know, walk the side, walk or whatever. I was like, that was a, a, a useless shot. Damn. Start the movie. So I don't know. So I, I, I'm i I'm with you. I don't know how. I'm bewildered with how that was chosen. Well, I like the, I like the, like the, like the I guess the corridor scenes. Like, okay. like looking down the hall. And then the way that the camera kind of panned over 
and it was already people walking. And then, you know, they didn't do a good job with the whole, I didn't know if he was in the same apartment or not until I seen like the refrigerator was on the other side, you know what I'm saying, of the kitchen. And then when he was eating that food, like what? Oh, that shit had to be nasty, nasty as fuck because he this, was trying to oh. shovel it down. <laughs> I said, is this, I said, this nigga eating bologna and rice? The fuck is going on here? Uh, Big plate of it. No, nah, you ever you ever come in and offer somebody something and they look at your shit and be like, no, nah, I'm gonna eat. Eat that, nah, yeah, I'm good at the job and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it make it make you look at your shit like you. It was that petty. That I, that's the face he had. He had that that face that like, man, I got some petty ass shit here. She didn't even want this shit. She gonna eat that work. Oh man, <laughs> no. Nah, he put it in there with the other plate. <laughs> they they did bring up some Swedish folklore and myths about the undead within the movie, which was cool, I guess. What they showed. Uh, actual cemetery there that was actually a Swedish cemetery uh, for authenticity. So those those are the Swedish folklore. No, the Swedish folklore is about the the dead coming. Something about the dead coming back to life. I didn't read the full story because I just was invested in the movie. But well, I think that's what got me interested in it is because this phenomenon is, I guess, from like the plague times and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And this is what helped to develop like the wakes in my understanding. I could oh. be off, but this is my understanding. So the wake people would have at their house, it would be mm-hmm. for the time of death to the time of burial, which could be hopefully they wake up weeks. Yeah. And seeing if they were to wake, they would they they're saying that the spirit is being animated with evil spirits when they wake up, stuff like mm-hmm. that. Wait a minute. So, so it's called it's called a wake. Not oh, a yeah, wake, a wake, W A K E, like wake your ass oh, okay. up, like wow. we had to do a, at the end yeah. of this movie. It's yeah, it's a and, space and, wake, not not a, not not a wake. Yeah. It's a space a wake, wake. Okay. a yeah. wake. No, yeah. this was based oh. off a novel uh, titled the same thing, handling the undead, and <laughs> maybe it should have just been left a novel, but. Well, that, well that, again, talk. that's what that's what got me into it because I digging into them books and shit. Like back in the medieval days and stuff. Like again, with the way the depths was, people was just dropping and not people not really knowing and mm-hmm. loved ones really, you know, really wasn't the same type of cemetery burial services set up in their communities. Whatever. <laughs> people would have to love they loved ones in their house for eons. And be taking pictures with them on their birthday. Oh, yeah, have them posed up and all that shit. Yeah, posed up. All of that stuff was going on. So, I, again, that's what I was thinking they was going to give me some of that type of juice out of this. But somehow I did not get that. And I was like. Didn't, didn't translate. Uh, yeah, it didn't translate. And back to the cinema, uh, cinematography, I was, a little, I was a little bugged out by how they would be in the apartment and show the whole, you know, shoot from one angle. And you cutting through rooms and stuff like that, and it, it just seemed useless for me. It didn't. It didn't help build anything for the story for myself. I don't know. I like the lighting. I, I wasn't mad at the lightning. I wasn't mad at the lightning at all. Yeah. I wasn't. I'm not certain how Rotten Tomatoes gave us a seventy five percent, and IMDb gave us a seven out of ten. Like this is white supremacy. My God! Well, I mean, no, we might be missing the art in it. We could be missing the art in it because we were looking for gore. You get what I'm saying? Or we were well, looking I mean, for that, more storytelling them. or something. You know what I mean? But I think the score, the score or the sound design that this had was actually pretty good too. Sound design was pretty good, but yeah. that's on them. For I got some good this, a horror. The first couple, you, you label this a horror. <laughs> there is no fucking horror in this. You label labeled this supernatural drama. Like I was like, you, <laughs> like what the fuck? Well, there's supernatural things happening. The supernatural things are there? okay. Yeah, the, but I just thought it was just a, a lightning storm and shit. I was like, because they yeah. they didn't really explain shit. They came up way short on the explanation of what I because I'm still like, what the fuck is going on? I ten by ten. So the. No, I I agree with you. The lack of explanation left a lot of the spaces to me almost comedic. I left like, out with Bunny, and you know I I know Peter Peter oh, don't man. be mad at me. I didn't put it in the movie, 
But that shit was hilarious to me. Oh, she man. said, "What was they thinking?" And he, the, first of the, all, first of all, your mama got all the open hands. cuts on her. He had the hands that was shaking. Like, he, yeah, this bitch got strong overnight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but your mama got all them open. But your mom got all them open wounds. You gonna put a live animal in her? In her yeah, lap? Like, what, what kind of sense is y'all making? Y'all in? I the, mean, should, to their to their defense, defense, what you gonna should. do? Kill her again? Like, well, they thought she was alive. They thought mama was back. <laughs> Now, I'm out, of, out, of out of all the stories, out of all the out out of all out of all the stories, I did that was the story that I think they should have capitalized on the the, the whole for the, for the, the, the the mom because for I think for they for took more time into building building that story up. I related to that story more so than the. Good then they're trying to they're trying to force me to to force me to get into boy. the the father the grandfather the boy and the mother story which was fucking trash i didn't give a shit like it was yeah it was hella empty and and was that her boo thing old girl that came back yes yes it was then she should have gave her a better bath than that what was that <laughs> maybe that's how they get down man i think she's gonna say you're you're yeah like you're she cold. Was baptized in the, she I'm was dead. Baptized in the bird, you gonna give her a bird bath? <laughs> Bro, you could some. You could some. You could submerge her. Nothing. Yeah. Throw her in the shower. Ain't break nothing, man. You like? Y'all seen them old droopy ass titties? Like she ain't want nothing to fall off. Like she, I was like, God damn, with them the titties you gave her. You, need, you needed to submerge them to soak them up. Fill them back God up. Damn, you wanted them plump. You know get them. Yeah, you needed to <laughs> absorb the water. And, 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 was and then there was there was, there was no explanation. Was you get what I'm saying? She was dehydrated. <laughs> and then there was no explanation to what prompted the grandfather to go out and dig up the boy. Oh, there was no you explanation. Hear to that. the boy knock the little the weak ground. ass knocks through the ground like that. He heard them thuds clear, like yeah, six feet under. <laughs> That was too crazy for me. He looked up. He was like, huh? Oh, huh? wait. Dum, dum. Hold on. I'm going to go get my car. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm coming, grandson. What the? Now what? Nigga, drunk. What caused, what caused that? Why did they just start eating motherfuckers? Like, they never explained that, or did I miss it? Well, it no. The, the, the thing that they didn't explain was the blackout and what happened through was that. that yeah. No, they didn't explain the blackout. <laughs> They didn't explain how all of a sudden they we, were... And what we watched after they were reanimated was uh -huh. them slowly becoming zom zombified. Because I was like, they were so diving to be. And then all of a sudden, they eating money. Yeah, they were weak. They were weak and they were having to feed. You know how the vampires come back weak and then once yeah. they feed, they be stronger? It was that type of shit. That's how I took it. I could be wrong, but that was my interpretation. Just to help. Man, I don't know, bro. Yeah. And where the other I, I just I just I just felt like this thing did not explain much for it the did. story that you had or, or or were trying to tell and you were giving us three different looks at it there needed to be some more explanation especially when you like like hyphen said when you have the mother in the hospital mm -hmm. you got doctors who can say things or the yeah. old lady could be listening to the news and they could be saying something about what's going on the phenomena in the city or whatever but nothing was explained not even the actions that were being taken by the family with the little boy or none of that. Nothing was being really, you know, elaborated on. And that that to me is where it really kind of suffered at because the story never really gets told. And you're just it's just go. It just comes on and goes off all together. And you like, what the hell? Like she just came home from work. She yeah, just came like from right work. He was, he was like, yeah, man. And wrapped her goddamn I wanted up. to see what happened when they got back to shore on the city. Like. They had one dude show up at the Oh, yeah, I forgot about man. that part, man. Yeah. <laughs> she came over work and just like, oh, yeah, let me just whoop, whoop, Yeah. Whoop. And then fell out whoa. and popped. Yeah, like, Pops is this your normal shit or normal. what? Yeah, Pops was like, oh, shit. <laughs> damn it. Oh, she <laughs> had it again. I got, get your I got ass up. Minutes. I got two minutes. If I don't get her in two minutes, then she's going to be I got, I got two minutes. I know how much this damn stuff. God damn it, Ezel. The rent still due on the first. <laughs> I was like, she fell out. He was just calm, yo. But, but, but 
I I cried on that part. I'm sorry, dog. And it was laughter. It was cries. It was crying from laughter. Cause she opened that door and heard him wheezing. I was she like, was what? like, what the fuck? She said, <laughs> zoo, 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 zoo. I said, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> she would have made a helmet. Like, I said, I'm oh, out of here, man. <laughs> oh man. Between that, the rabbit. God damn it. So, and then the, the old man, come on. Oh, man. And, and it's like you said, even if you take little bits and pieces of explanation and put it amongst all three of them, just so we can have somewhere, just have something, have some kind Lose of article. When I watched this, I felt like everything nah. is explained in the book and they're expecting us to go read the book. But what they're not getting like if this movie doesn't pique my interest i'm i don't give a fuck about the book like i was just like no nah, fuck that book are you telling me <laughs> the book means that you drowning the boy i'm not fucking with it <laughs> and she's like she calmly drowned it right. like, can he drown wait a minute like, wait a minute they don't explain if if he could just walk through the water and shit because they don't they don't tell you what the fuck the, the other dude just pop up banging on the window and shit he just came out of no fucking nah, way. Just... I, I tell you what, though, if that if that older couple was black, she wouldn't have made it out that first scene. You really real talk. Because when she walked in the crib and left that dope, and she would have got her ass cussed out. And oh, then yeah. when she was trying to feed her and she uh, did yeah. that little bite, yeah, that bite said everything right there. Oh no, you got to go. No, oh That's hell, like, no. you got to hell, go. Yeah. <laughs> hell, yeah, oh, you got to oh, go. Hell, no. you got... You putting mm. that dog this, down. You are not in there. This not this ain't you. This ain't you. Yeah. <laughs> and that tripped me out this too. This not like, the woman I much, love. How much activity do you accept from somebody understanding that you had that relationship and love them, but they're clearly not themselves? Like how much do you tolerate? Chop the head off. That's it. I, I just it. need them to, you know, be coherent enough to, to I can take them to the bank. Get the shit out the bank account. Oh my God. Out the bank accounts and shit, and then you know we can go and put them back down. Hopefully, you have access to. I mean, I don't know. It depends on the relationship, I guess. I don't. I don't know. Again, it, everything's unexplained. I have no clue <laughs> what the tethers were. And then I think that by not having a lot of dialogue in here, it killed it. It made the movie a zombie. It made it like like y'all said. There was no ex. The, it was no explanation, not a radio, not a not a not a conference. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. No, no doctors getting together talking about this woman that was dead. Now she's alive. And she's acting different. Nothing to even be, draw us even back to their folklore. The even even between the characters yeah. themselves, well, like the, the the mother who and the children really didn't converse with each other. The dad really well in, in the beginning they did those, not really though. Remember the motherfucker was ignoring all, them? Yeah. yeah. No, because that, that was all that's what I'm saying. Like that's where the story was at. That's where most of the dialogue right, was at. Right, between, and like right, it wasn't much, I mean. but most of the dialogue was there. They even I said they could use those times, like the dad walked in, old girl was painting her nails. She just gets up, walks out the room, yeah. Yeah. says, I'm gonna eat at work and dip. It's like you could be telling some of this story. I was so time. unclear. I wish they would have. Uh, like I thought he was pimping her because the way she maybe the grandfather had had did something to cause the boy to die. Like that would have been. Well, just give yeah, me a, I needed something It was all your fault me. or something. So then now yeah. I understand why he's sitting there at the grave site. Now I understand why if he thinks he hears something, he's going to hurry up and get the car because he's trying to write his wrong. But you don't explain none of that goddamn shit. And then See, too, you got an opportunity it. with the with the teenage daughter. Or I think it was teenage or the twenties or whatever, and her boyfriend. The cop they yeah. you have opportunity to explain some shit between there and the band. That was like you had why, so why she acting talking. like that towards her parents, right? Yes. She could easily been talking like that. You, you have know so I mean? many opportunities missed, just gone. You see, but without the explanation and what happened when she saw the little boy cut in the room again and, and what she did after there, I was like, damn, she might not even wanted her son and he didn't brought this nigga back. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's <laughs> like he was doing it for him. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Oh, man. Man. I might change my score. I don't know. I don't think it can get no lower. 
<laughs> yeah, I missed the art. I, I, I missed the art one. Of the sound design. It was artistic. It was the the, the, the the cinematography didn't didn't do anything new for me. I do like the coloring of the film, though. I I I, I got to admit on on that with hyphen, but not people? much else. Well, yeah, them too. But I mean, the shade of them. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. the hue. Yeah, the hue. Yeah, but I'm still stuck on how this is a horror. By all means, just by having the uh, the zombies in it. And they were knocking on windows. No blood, though. Pulled a little blood by the dad no, after he got killed. But we didn't no see blood. it. I think it was only rated R because of the titties, or or I'm gonna call them milk duds. Them, those, I'm call them. Or saddlebags. Damn. No, <laughs> them, them is milk duds. Those dog. things. <laughs> they are, they don't guess, have no. Those fluid misplaced in the earlobes. Earlobes. No more. That's a name for them, I guess. Right. Hell yeah. What's your pronouns? I'm a male. I'm a man. I'm a he. I don't get into that mentally ill stuff. Okay. There we go. All right, that's the one. That's the one. We gotta have it. So this is called a what? Uh, you said a this was a. What? You said a horror and a what? Psychological drama. What you call? Psychological, it? Uh, supernatural. Sorry, supernatural drama slash horror. And a horror. Oh, okay. Yeah. No horror at all. <laughs> This was a zombie coming. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this as a clap. This was a disappointment. Damn. A unexplained uh, disappointment. A slow drip. <laughs> a slow death. This was a slow leak. This is a graveyard yeah. shift reunion. God damn it. This is a uh a creative, no creative uh film. <laughs> This is the cadaver monologues, goddamn it. You said you, wait, you said cadaver? <laughs> cadaver dialogue? <laughs> monologues. The cadaver monologues. <laughs> My th yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dead undead shit. Damn. This is this is uh good night, the undead this saga. Was, <laughs> this was another silencing film. This was it should have been a silent night, goddamn it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a critic, a critic killer. Shit. Yeah, yeah. This is a payola. This is got Boy, them motherfuckers get sevens and eights and shit. This is a payola. Cash the check. Yeah, Cash yeah. the check productions, goddamn it. <laughs> oh. Well, let's go ahead and have some. My cousin got a movie coming out. It's pretty <laughs> he got a movie idea. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been a two big guy. Yeah, yeah. No, don't do that. Nope, there's not no two B. Stop. Stop. Yeah, it wasn't even two B worthy. It wasn't even interesting enough to be two B. I'll be honest. It wasn't even interesting enough to be two B. Two B got interesting ass stories. They just fail in execution quite often. <laughs> Damn. But no, no, no. I'm being for real. Not the stories are the storylines are great, but sometimes it's just they ain't got the budget. Yeah, you just don't have the yeah, you don't have the cinematography. That's why the talent. The <laughs> yeah. Damn, boy, the talent. I was tiptoeing yeah. around the talent. I was tiptoeing around the talent. No, I'm cool with way, the talent. I was gonna say they give you something, man. Something to look at where you can, you know, make a name for yourself at least. It is everyone's favorite game show. Rename that movie. The fuck is that smell? Dead man walking. Handling the budget. Diabolical. Ooh. Die cast. Ooh. Dire strengths. Okay. <laughs> Killing me softly. Ooh, shit. Diluted. Diet horror. Damn. This is this is beyond meat. <laughs> this is die hard. Beyond, yeah, beyond dead. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is uh, this is dead ass. Oh my god, impossible. This zombie. is no vacancy. Upper room edition. <laughs> oh shit! Life after death. <laughs> who? Who in the hell left the grave open? Damn. 
<laughs> the corpse come back. Dead wrong. Damn. <laughs> the freaks come out at night. Mm, mm, mm. A lesbian, a mom, and a boy come out of a grave, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> God <damn. laughs> uh, this is dead silence. The graveyard shift. Dead or Try alive. to stay awake. I dare you. Yeah. Sleep is the cousin of death. Challenge. The grave diggers. Mm. From Bite dirt size. to sheets. Bite sized death. zombies. Death becomes her. I knew that one was coming. I knew that was coming. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go with uh, who in the hell left the grave open. I like that one. A zombie phone home. A zombie phone home. <laughs> <laughs> changing faces changing faces thrill of the night oh. <laughs> the scar lip letters the scar lip <laughs> <laughs> oh shit a uh, hell of a lotion ad damn they sure was dry as a motherfucker man <laughs> Ain't nobody break out no Aveno, no goddamn gold by nothing. Hey, get the elbows. The Dead, the Dead Sea. <laughs> oh. Life yeah. in the Dead Sea. The pale blue eyes. Who run it? I got to spell all that out? Oh. All right, let's wrap this shit <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to see a dead body? Damn. (laughs) Dead wrong. How you say it, though? Dead to rights. My digit. Dead lifting. Dead lifting. (laughs) (laughs) Unwanted resurrection. The wrong erection. Oh, my God. Stop it. Wrap this shit up, B. <laughs> That's that line. Rise, and that nigga just jumped. To the, top. <laughs> the boo chew. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, the boo chew. Yeah, stop yeah. it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. We're going the wrong way, fellas. The wrong way. You turn. You turn. <laughs> Oh god! Stick us in the boot you. Yeah, <laughs> damn. All right, man. Let's be. I'm done. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm I'm done. Let's be. I'm done. Let's think I said the boot uh, you. Uh yeah, chewed up quick. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Hello worms. God damn it. Dry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga hit him with some vibes, Lee, bro. I was crying. Oh, I was crying. That nigga said, oh. dying, dying, oh. dying to eat. How does that feel? Oh, yeah. That feels like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, Man, if they would have leaned it to the comedy, man, this would have been. Man, bro, I was like, that shit is like low key some El Condi shit. But it, it wasn't supposed to be. God, dog, I was crying. I was like, this nigga eating with some visine out the grave, man. What kind of oh, bullshit was he God on, man? Hell. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Say, I love my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. What, what, what's the oh, vote? Which, which one we picking? Damn, we said so many. Bye-bye, Bugs Bunny. I like Boochu. I like, I like, I like Dead I like, Ass and Beyond I like this. I like Dead Silence. We said beyond dead. Yeah, I like this. That's oh, what you said, said beyond dead. Beyond yeah, dead. That's the beyond dead. I like dead silence, and I like it was another one. I like Uchu was cute, cute too, though. But I don't think they gonna get it. No, nah, they ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna get it. <laughs> Chewed her ass up though, for real. Oh, Come on, wow. Did you say bite size? Did anybody say that? Bites, I has. No, that was that's pretty good. All right, we got to agree Dan on Dan appetizers, finger food. Uh, dead silent. Dead silent. 
That was the movie. Yeah. I like it. All right, man. The official True View rename for handling the undead is dead silent. Crickets, crickets, crickets. And the official True View score for this piece of shit is. Who did this to us? Yeah, man, it is a two. It was a true view 2.20 overall. Gentlemen, why in the fuck did they do this to us? What that means? No one knows what it means. What does it all mean, Basil? So, what are you trying to say? What, what, what? What is your message? Uh, treat the people that you love right while they're alive. That's it. That's the message. That's the message. Message. Love transcends even death. Message. We'll put the message on our crickets, right? You got crickets. <laughs> message. Yeah, it's my crickets, nigga. You ready? <laughs> God damn it. Message. Oh, man. <laughs> Life, death, and everything in between. Message. Hey, you can't be around here dead and not pay no bills, nigga. God damn you shit. Message. Uh, don't dig up dead situations. Message. A new chapter uh, for the departed. Message. Ain't, ain't no such thing as a redo. <laughs> Damn. Message. <laughs> Nigga, you can't hey, run back life. People change. Message. Yeah, nigga. Pick a struggle, nigga. You gonna be dead or a zombie, nigga? Pick a. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit him with the 30 second elevator pitch. No. Nope. nope. You don't want to do the pitch? No. No. You motherfucker with the no. Nah. Oh. All, All right. the way around. No. 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 All right. There we go. Man, Man, dog. Me, myself, I haven't been sleeping well lately. What about you? Well. I might have something that could fix that. And throw this in, have that volume set at a nice little moderate level, and let the smooth classical sounds ease you on in to a lullaby from within. Okay? Because you're going to come back again. You're not dead. You see? And that's what this is all about. And uh, I would advise you just take what I'm saying here as the movie. OK, because you don't want to sit down and watch this because I won't recommend it. And I will not. Matter of fact, will not. I got, I got to get a new fire stick because my algorithm is fucked up now on, the, on the fire stick. Uh, I'm not watching this ever again. I'm not even I'm, I'm trying to strike. Ever. I'm trying to find a man in black flash so I can forget that I watched this. Flash All right. <laughs> yeah, I need. Yeah, I need. I need the. I need the kapaya. I need the flash and somebody to tell me a good story after that. God damn it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> if you are looking for a movie where these creeps come back from six feet deep, I guess this here's the movie for you. I don't know if that's me or not. I don't know. If you are looking for a movie where the old man digs deeper so his old ass can cheat the reaper, this here movie might be for you. If you are looking for a movie where the baby came back from a tomb to bring some gloom to his mama's womb, this here movie just might be for you. 
I will not rewatch this shit. I will not pick up said... a fucking book. I will not recommend this shit to nobody. I gave it, I think, a two seven five two point three five. Sorry, two point three five. This was awful. It just wasn't explained. It wasn't complete. It was not a good movie. Enter at your own risk. I would have said undead. I would have said this, Mel. If What'd you, you want to see a movie, uh huh, where the boy came back for some reason, but kept wheezing. Oh, then this is a movie for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's pretty good. Look at you to see it's catchy, ain't it? Well, it's catchy, it's catchy bro. It's work is working. It's working. Keep it going. Man. But you know what else y'all can fucking work? Y'all can work y'all ass on over there to trueviewpodcast.com. That's trueviewpodcast, T-R-U-V-U-E podcast.com where you can like, subscribe, share, comment to help us defeat the all powerful algorithm that's trying to hold a black pod down. And thank you for riding with us over there at the YouTube, man. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications, the thumbs up, the subscribe button, share us with somebody, and leave a comment. Drop in the comments something that you want us to review because we here at the True View Podcast know that it's not about our review. It's the conversation with the crew. So go on here, yeah, put that in the comments, the and I guarantee we'll make it do what it do. True View Podcast. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, do everything Melly Mel just said. Definitely drop us. So we don't know what the fuck we're doing, man. Watching this shit. Uh, <laughs> what the drop fuck us up. <laughs> let let us let us know what we should be watching, man. I don't want to walk down this type of road ever again. Oh, ever shit. again. Help us, please. Oh, what do you want us to watch? Alley oop to my guy. God damn, man. Alley oop. There you have it. Change. There you go. That there be, <laughs> be the end of the show. True View Podcast. And you know what the hell we always say. Hey, stop breathing life into dead situations. God damn, the dead is just so full of life. And hey, go watch some shit. Damn. A bunch of different views. Yeah, well, <laughs> True View Podcast. <laughs> True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. (laughs) The boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. (laughs) Yeah.